there, how are you this fine morning? We are on our way to Granada from Toledo. So that's about a three and a half hour drive. Um, and um, here's the thing about traveling in Europe. Um, we love the train system. In fact, we've done all trains. We did a train from Barcelona to um, Madrid. And then when we did our day trip to um, Segovia, we um, took a train to Segovia and then we took a train to Toledo. But once we were headed to Granada, they did not have a high speed um, train to Granada. They did have a train and then we'd have to change over to buses. And, and that's all, that's great. I mean, I would love in Texas if, since we live in Conroe, um, it would be so cool if we had a high speed train um, rail or something into Houston. And like when Matthew was in the Houston Youth Symphony, um, it would have been so awesome just to take that instead of driving a car. But anyway, that's a topic for another day, right? So we are here in our rental car and um, and I am so impressed because I'm gonna show you something that just wows me. Miguel is driving in Europe. Here's our nice little highway. Um, it's not great. The first highway we were on was actually better, but it's pretty good. And um, you really don't have anything to fear about driving in Europe. It's really not that big of a deal. And it does provide you some freedom of not having to be at the bus station or the train station at a certain time um, of day. So we love that freedom. We just stopped at a convenience store on the side of the road, great bathrooms. Um, you know, you, usually there's a restaurant right next to it, almost always. Um, there will be a restaurant right next to the gas station. Now, the gas prices here are outrageous. So, um, they're all in liters. So, it's really hard, you know, doing the conversion in your head is almost impossible. At least it is for me. So, I'll have to put it into the phone and usually it, it works out to over $6 a gallon. However, the cars are usually small and in fact, the guy, when he saw the three of us walk in with our bags, he was trying to upsell us to a larger car for 20 more euros a day. But since we're gonna have the car for seven days, um, you know, I didn't really um, want to pay another 140 euro because now you're looking at, that's really probably around $175. So, um, so we're all just piled in here. <laughs> we packed in two medium-sized suitcases and a carry-on, so. Um, it does help when there's only three of you. If there were four of us, we wouldn't be able to do it. We would have had to have sized up in the car. But anyway, so um, we have passed some beautiful castles and things of that nature, but right now we're really not. In fact, actually, sadly, we're kind of going past a more industrial area. And so we're heading south, really towards Africa, towards Morocco. Um, I did think about taking a ferry across to um, Morocco, but you know, at some point you just have to draw the line. And um, my main goal was that I that if we were going to fly over here, we use frequent flyer miles to fly over, but it cost us about a half a million frequent flyer miles. So, you know, kind of bankrupted our frequent flyer miles. But my whole thing was if we were going to fly over here and use all of our frequent flyer miles, then I wanted to actually have shoes on the ground for two weeks because you know, at least two days are burned in travel, um, getting over here and getting back. So, and then we end the trip in Sevilla. And so the problem is our flight out is in Barcelona. So we had to buy tickets on a regional flight to fly from Sevilla back up to Barcelona because that would be like in Texas, that would be like having to get from Houston to well, further than Dallas. Um, I don't know if it's as far as El Paso, but um, Spain is a big, big country, bigger than you think. Um, it's almost as big as Texas. So it's getting from the most southern tip of Spain all the way to a northern area, Barcelona. So, um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to drop off the car in Sevilla. So when you travel abroad, don't worry so much about renting a car. The main thing is just don't rent the car in a big city center area because that would not be a good deal. But you can rent a car anywhere. And I'll tell you some other time about our car getting towed in Germany two years ago. That was a great fun. Um, but it's one of our most memorable stories of travel. So um, anyway, what day is it? Tuesday? Is it Tuesday, guys? I think it's... 
I think it's Tuesday. Anyway, happy Tuesday, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.